From all accounts, there is one item that is served at Mertz Heart and Soul restaurant in downtown Charlotte that is remembered by people long after they eat there. When we opened up, I thought our signature dish would be our salmon cakes. But if you ask anybody that's been here, and they don't even remember the name of the place, I mean in California or England, okay. they'll say, Did you eat at that place that had that great cornbread? It's moist, sweet, it's got a good taste, nice texture. Nice and warm, the butter just melts wonderfully. Part of the appeal of the cornbread is how it's made, but a big hey, part baby. of it is that it's always served hot. It's almost like a uh, uh, Krispy Kreme. And the, the difference is our hot light never goes off. We only bake a certain amount, so it's always hot when it comes out. The cornbread is delicious. This is a wonderful restaurant, and I recommend it to anybody in the city to come here and eat. In terms of how the cornbread is made, the Mertz recipe does vary a bit from what is normal. For instance, one of the ingredients is mayonnaise. We use mayonnaise in it, and it helps make it lighter. So I, we, we serve loaves instead of muffins. So they tend to be a really light, almost cake-like, but cornbread at the same time. Those in charge here hit upon something with that cornbread, and they realize that it's a major feature in making their customers happy. They love the cornbread. The cornbread is the best thing they've ever had. I, I can't tell too many secrets about it, but it's really awesome. With the name Mertz Heart and Soul, many people are under the impression that this is a soul food restaurant. That is not the case. We don't call ourselves a soul food restaurant. We never have. Uh, like I said, the first time we was a uh, healthy southern cooking restaurant, and now we consider ourselves a low country southern restaurant. We're not considered soul food, but we're considered low country, southern low country. Um, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, pork chops, a lot of meats, a lot of heavy vegetables. When I think of southern food, I think of fried pork chops and fried chicken. Uh, I think of uh, black eyed peas and okra and tomatoes. A southern food staple is collard greens. Mertz goes through about 16 heads each day, or about 100 heads each week. Ours are fresh. Ours aren't cooked with meat. And people get mistaken when they have them and they think it's meat in them. It's not. It's just garlic, onions, and vinegar, and water. Mertz Heart and Soul opened in 1998. James Bazell had operated a catering company and another restaurant in the past. When Mertz moved to its current location, there weren't many other restaurants situated downtown. At first, nobody was certain that it was a sound decision. It came to be a great move. Right now, we're surrounded by uh, a lot of entertainment complexes, from the Bobcat Arena to the Children's Museum, the library, Blumenthal Theater. The move downtown has paid dividends. Most days are busy, and there is sometimes a wait for a table. All of the food coming out to the tables is fresh, and while that's a positive feature, there's really no other option, considering the relatively small size of the kitchen and the lack of storage space. We're really small back there, so we have no choice but to bring everything in fresh every day and to make everything fresh. The pace of things here is also dictated by the location. Many who are dining are here on their lunch break or in the evening looking to make it to a show on time. From the day we open up, we try to uh, express speed and get our orders out and turn the table. But everybody got to get back to work. Even with that, the restaurant attempts to connect with each guest so that no one feels as though they are being rushed through their meal. We're very homey. We're very... It's a family feel when you come in, so you're always welcome. So when you come in, it feels like you're at home. To see how far the feeling of family goes, you have to look no farther than the name. Mertz was named after a customer at James Bazell's previous restaurant. It derived from a customer from my other restaurant. Her name was Ms. Myrtle Lockhart. And when she was younger, her nickname used to be uh, Mertz. Ms. Lockhart passed away before we opened up. And we were trying to come up with a name of the restaurant. And we knew we wanted to be Southern, a Southern name. And, you know, we tried Red Dirt, Knee High, you name it. And I remember Ms. Lockhart's nickname. And I told the design guy, I said, try Merck. He did the Merck's and the heart and soul. And me and my wife seen that logo. We said, that's the name of the restaurant. She was a very private person. She used to joke with me all the time, uh, hit me and called, teased me. But she would have been very upset. She would have been honored, but she would have been upset. In almost 14 years at this spot, Merck's heart and soul has built a reputation. That leads to recommendations from some of the most influential people around. He has a concierge working on your southern food. They say Merck. He has a uh, doorman. 
where can I get uh, grits yeah. on Sunday morning? They say merch. Word of mouth travels from customer to potential customer as well. Absolutely wonderful. You'll get this in a few restaurants around town, so it's nice it's here. With success, there's always the question of whether or not to grow beyond one location. On one hand, James Bazell has learned from others. I talked to a lot of people that stand at restaurants, local restaurants, and they tend to tell me they wish they only kept one or two. On the other hand, maybe another small location in a high traffic spot wouldn't be such a bad idea. We were hoping to get in some kind of transit area, fence an airport or train station, something that we wouldn't have to be really big, but we can provide people from outside the area with some good southern food.